Hi, I'm Bill Brown. I work for the city of Midland. Uh, all right, so what's the goal for this week? For this week to get all the walls stood because we just had trusses delivered. Yeah, all the exterior walls, not necessarily interior, so that we could start setting trusses and get the house weather tight before the weather changes. Okay. And will the same students who are doing all the, the walls be also doing the plumbing and like the electrical? They the are here for the entire school year. Oh, so, that's so cool. So far, since I've been here in 2006, we've completed the house or just down to a punch list when, when the school season has finished. Okay. Do you know what the, um, the finished product's going to be? How many square feet? How many bedrooms? 2,049 square feet. Wow. And it's three bedrooms. Beautiful. So it's, it's um, split. It's like having a uh, caregiver suite. Gotcha. So uh, the one gal that is the resident companion mm -hmm. um, has her own bedroom, her own kitchen, her own bathroom, her only laundry room. Mm -hmm. So. She will be here as a minimum from seven at night till seven in the morning with the girls. That then the, the other girls live on the two bedroom side. Oh, very cool. Do you, so what is a typical like class hour? Do the kids come and then you guys kind of do a quick catch up and then you? So like so classes like from roughly twelve thirty to two twenty. Um, we have a contractor, Mr. Quickie, that usually comes early and gets some things set up so that their students are ready to rip and dare when, when they're on site so we can get as much progress as we can uh, because it's a short period of time to construct a house when you only have a couple hours a day. Um, so uh, between, between Ray Quickie and Kevin they have decided what they're going to work on the next day and that's what Ray gets prepared for the students to work on. Contractors provide the tools, or is a lot of those provided from the high schools already? Or so all the carpentry type tools, the school provides those. Okay. So we have to have subcontractors, electrical, plumbing, heating, and they bring tools. The school has some of those tools, but those contractors have to be willing to work with and train the students. Okay. So. And then. Is there multiple graduation years here working, or is everyone about the same grade? No, we, we do have returning students. Some years we have students that will take the class for three years. Mm -hmm. uh, some years just two, or some students two, and then several just one. There is a gentleman that comes. Um, we started with him years ago. He was partners with another guy whose son was going through the class. Okay. So they brought their sky track as the piece of equipment over and then he helps set all the trusses and some houses he can do it in one day, sometimes he's here for two days. Uh, works right with the students and, and Kevin and Ray and supplies his sky track. And, is there any classroom work, or is it just kind of hands-on learning where the kids learn? Oh, no, like they, they, you know, they start the year in okay. the classroom, especially with safety program. Okay. Um, so it, they, uh, and, you know, usage of tools and ladders and scaffolding and all that that they go over with. And then on rain days, they can be back at school yeah. in the classroom. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay. We'll see you next week. Very good. <laughs>